here in Northport, local residents are saying they can't wait to move forward from 2022 into 2023 and forget about the destruction left behind by Hurricane Ian. Here's what I'm hearing from local residents. When we first came back that morning, we couldn't get to this point right here. Uh, besides driving on yards to get to the parking lot on the, comp on the building next to us, uh, there was so much debris in the streets and water. Uh, there is no possible way to get in. It took us a couple days just to get the streets opened up. Uh, and then it was weeks of uh, just moving debris in and out and getting everything kind of back to where we are now. They are pausing services until coming back January 3rd. They went home to their families for the holidays, which was much deserved and putting in a lot of hard work. Um, then we want to make sure everybody has their debris out at that time after on or after January 3rd. That will be their last official pass to pick up that debris. We're looking for a good year in 2023. We're just hoping we can get um, supplies. Uh, we can't get siding and things like that. So, so that's the big push right now for the people who are rebuilding to have the supplies to do that. Local residents here say they look forward to the year of 2023 as they can move forward and leave the troubles of the storm from Hurricane Ian behind in 2022. Reporting from Northport, James Hill with ABC7, your local station.